Hey, welcome again. This is Bob Chu from Stewart at Isla Mirada Boatworks. Today we're doing a latest launch on a Carbon and Negra 24 Isla Mirada. This boat is fully Carbon and Negra. In other words, the hull and the deck cap is all Carbon and Negra. If you've seen some of our videos before and you saw boats similar to this about a year ago, uh, this is a different boat. Just happens to be a similar, it's the same hull color, different deck color. Um, so this boat, low profile second station, which is our new second station and also our new hard top shape. Uh, and it has a white deck to go with that seashell green hull. Really, really attractive boat. The customer that bought this boat is going to do some unique things. He actually previously owned the Stewart Boat Works and a different brand, Bay Boat. So we sold the Stewart for him, sold the other Bay Boat, and this boat he's going to use as his singular boat. He's actually going to, in the summertime, run it to the Bahamas and back, um, which is unique for a Bay Boat, but that's the way he intends to use it. Um, as we get further along here, you'll see some of the aspects of the rigging that allows this boat to be really, really a, a multifunctional for a bay boat. Uh, to start with forward, he has the Altera trolling motor, so he can be in the low profile second station and deploy and retrieve the trolling motor. Uh, he is a fly fisherman as well as a an all-purpose style fisherman, but does a lot of fly fishing. So that's a great aspect, you know, with the tarpon, and so forth, coming up the beach here in the springtime. So um, just wanted to start this introduction, show you the boat. I, I think you'll be uh, plenty pleased with what you see. This, of course, is the standard Isla Mirada deck, rod storage on either side. Big compartment here with another locker below that. So these are all things you've seen on our other videos, I'm sure. Anchor locker forward with a big receiver for the anchor. Uh, he's opted for four more rod holders forward. Big Yeti-sized cup holders. All oh, that's really cool. We've probably seen it on several of our boats. This is something you haven't seen. This compartment actually has a chill plate in it. It's a fish box with a 12 volt chill plate. We put in and glassed in a custom subfloor into this compartment. And by the configuration of the boat to begin with, with the resin infused foam stringers that run all the way forward, they create the outer walls for this compartment. And then we have CUSA board bulkheads that run athwart ships that are also infused during the whole infusion process. They make the forward and aft compartment walls. So with the subfloor and the insulation below that, this is now a wonderful fish box. We do have, I know, some customers already using this as a fish box, but without the subfloor and certainly without the chill plate. So the cool thing here is, 24 foot bay boat we we put in this chill plate for him because of his intention to go to the bahamas in the summertime so he doesn't have to worry about carrying ice or at least not as much ice um, and of course here coastally here he, he will use this as well in the morning turn the chill turn the chill plate on when the motor's fired up go out catch bait whatever he's doing by the time he catches a fish and wants to drop it in the fish box this baby will be chilled down and ready to ready for use. So really unique. Never thought I'd see one in any bay boat. Never thought I'd see it in one of our bay boats, but here it is, first time. So one other last thing, sorry. This fish box does have a diaphragm plum, uh, pump plumb to it so as to evacuate the fish box. It does not go into the bilge. With this in a regular configuration, of course, it's meant for storage, which does standard drain into the bilge. So, of course, all the 24 Isla Miradas have a double door on the front of the console so that when you want to get into your battery switch, there would be a cooler here and your bottom door would be closed. But in this case, we've just shown it with both doors open so you can see the 
fit and finish as well as the customization that we did on this boat. Um, if you get a 36 volt trolling motor, which virtually almost every Isla Mirada gets, uh, you would have your four Group 31 glass mat batteries in the console, a uh, shelf that's easily removable if need to to get to the batteries. In this area here, moves up to the C-Zone, our C-Zone digital switching panel. So that we've talked about this before, the boat's wired digitally, but these allow for an analog backup system. So it gives you the opportunity to get something to work on the water if it were to fail on the switch panel and or on your Simrad or Garmin panel uh, display, I mean to say. Um, so that's C-Zone, battery switch, trolling motor switch. Uh, on this particular boat, we've got some kind of unique things. Um, this boat does have an autopilot, so this is the brain for the autopilot, the compass, I mean to say. Um, the VHF, it's a Simrad VHF. He doesn't use it on a regular basis, but it's there for emergencies, especially for his trips across the Gulf Stream. So it's stowed and installed here inside the console. Um, it has an EPIRB inside the console. The boat has Sea Star electronic steering, so there's the display for that steering here as opposed to on the back side of the console. Purposes, again, that's only if there's a problem with the steering, you need to see a fault readout or something of that nature. On a regular basis, you won't have any need to see this or get to it. Um, there's a 3D structure scan. He's, he does have 3D uh, transducer on the boat with the Simrad system fire extinguisher, uh, more of the charging system on board. This is the power pole charge system uh, that charges the trolling motor batteries while underway with the Yamaha, or yeah, in this case, right. So that's neat and clean, easy to get to, um, very professionally done. Uh, it's, it's cool, I mean, that's what we do. So look at the helm here, uh, very unique. Um, it's actually blacked out so that everything, the, the sun doesn't reflect and you know, ruin your, your day vision. So it's all blacked out console, uh, two 12 inch Simrads. Um, the new Yamaha controls, binnacle controls that are key fob operated. Power start up, stop, switch, kill switch. Simrad Autopilot, Yamaha 5-inch gauge, two drink holders, the C-Zone digital switching system, which on the Isla Mirada does show battery one, two, and trolling motor batteries to show you the state of charge on those. Really nice. Um, jack plate controls, opted for the Edson wheel, tilt steering, two things you wouldn't see to date on uh, any of our previous boats. We now have modified the jack plate control on the starboard side so that this controls, provides a momentary switch as well as a permanent on and off switch for the light bar that's on the second station. Really cool, nice, simple, and clean. Next to that, uh, this is new too. We, this boat, we'll show you in a minute, but this boat is equipped with Minn Kota Raptors as opposed to power poles. It's what the customer wanted. Uh, and this is the remote control for the Raptors. Glove box, latch here to access the tilt out stairs where a lot more pumps are secured behind that hatch there. I meant, I forgot, Lenco trim tabs with indicators and a foot pad to get to the second station. So we'll go there now. So the step up to the second station is now enhanced on this low profile second station. And there's a step here, my right foot is on. My left foot, like all of them, is in place there on the console. Then I'm up and into the second station. So it's really easy. 
Uh, this particular owner is 70 years old, uh, and he's about 6'2", and I'd say maybe 220 pounds. He zips up here and down like it's pretty remarkable. Um, so it's Key West style. You've seen a few of these from us now. Um, and this is now our standard shape, whether you order a hardtop boat or a second station boat. It allows for easy access to the rods on the side, so as to drop them in, take them out. Uh, also has a rod holder here on the side for if you want to throw a pitch bait or something from up above, um, or lure, or fly, whatever appeals to you. As far as this area itself, um, we have all the controls here that we have below, essentially. Lenco trim tabs with indicators, nine inch Simrad screen above on a nice little wedge. Standard drink holder, probably more often used for a telephone. Yeti size drink holder here. Yamaha five inch gauge. Edson wheel controls for the jack plate as well as controls for the Raptors. Start stop, of course, for Yamaha as well. So it's fully functional. Um, Lumatech light bar on the front edge. Um, and it's, yeah, it's a fully, fully functional second station. Um, this is one of the first where we put a backrest. This is actually the second. So that you can sit here comfortably, put your feet up, real nice backrest. Actually, if there's a couple people, maybe a little smaller, I mean, I'm 155, 160. Um, somebody my size, especially female or smaller, could be next to me in this, uh, in this seat with this belly band cushion arrangement. Um, but two guys could also be up here, certainly, um, fishing and sighting and so forth. So, um, that's the plan, that's, that's the finished product. We have a couple drink holders here, four foot antennas, which he desired. Um, and I think at this stage, we'll do the rest of this top on the back side. So on all of our hard tops and or second stations, there's four rod holders across the back. Um, these are typically tulip shaped. This customer preferred they match the shape of the rod holders on the side of the console, so that's what we did. Um, also, the height of these can be modified as to your liking, as to your height. These were raised. Um, in addition to that, just point out on the underside of the hard top uh, with the brush finished on it, uh, we have LED spreader light aft and forward, as well as three multicolor LED lights flush into the hard top. And moving on to the most obvious thing, this boat comes with the Gem brand new Coastal Outriggers, as well as having the Gem Sunshade. So what these are all about is it's a very easy to function and maneuver mechanism, um, low profile in design to swing the outriggers out or back in uh, they are at a fixed angle. Um, the outriggers themselves are a composite, fiberglass, carbon, composite. They're available in 12 feet or 15 feet. These are 15s. These can be rigged for two lines per outrigger. Um, and you can actually remove the outrigger quite easily. And then you're left with the rod holder base that can then be swung outboard to function as kingfish style rod holders, if you'd like. And then lastly, the sunshade aspect. Uh, here we're shading the, the transom of the boat. These could be swung all the way forward and shade the forward section of the boat. So it's really diverse. The other thing is that uh, Gem allows you to run the boat 20, 25 miles an hour with the shade up. So if you're, whatever you're doing, snorkeling, bottom fishing, hanging out the sandbar, and you decide you want to relocate, you don't have to remove the shade. Whereas in other systems, maybe you would have to. So it's really, really cool, really diverse, lightweight. All the fittings are specific to gem. So it's a very cool product. Um, now, I'd like to 
move on to the next unique thing that we've never done in one of our boats before, and that is this type of leaning post or helm seat is probably the best terminology. This has the forward cushion as you would see on any leaning post that we, that we typically put on boats, but this also gives you the option, if you want to look aft, just flip the seat forward. It's all heavy duty. It's not like those old style ones that were built out of teak or you know, some plastic components. It's all aluminum, heavy duty bird salt construction. Um, in this mode, you now can sit here, look aft, whatever the application is, sandbar, bottom fishing, trolling, drifting live baits, I mean, <laughs> whatever. So two people can sit here. There are two rod holders built in for additional rods, or maybe these are your only rods you're fishing, as opposed to the gunnels, whatever the application is. Um, but this is really functional. Uh, surprised me when I first saw it. Also has full storage below, which you're used to seeing in the leaning posts. Also, this bar at the bottom is on the F side. Normally, this is built with it on the forward side, but this particular customer is going to use um, a soft-sided cooler as his day cooler, and he's going to slide that in from the front side, so he wanted the bar on the back to prevent it from sliding out. Which brings to mind something I forgot. On the front of the boat, of course, there will be a, a 65 quart frigid rigid cooler in front of the console uh, on this boat. Um, just not here right now. So really functional, super strong, um, really comfortable. It's a, it's a kind of unique solution to fit his needs. So as we come to the stern of the boat, the aft deck, this boat has the stern seat option, which is the backrest and the center cushion. It also has the jump seat cushions as an option. Real diverse, versatile, remove them when you're fishing. A lot of people leave this in place when they're fishing. You can leave this because this accesses the main live well very easily. Drop it forward, live bait, boom, boom. Um, the other thing that you can't see, but this locker was all three lock, all three compartments were insulated. Uh, all three set up as you can have them set up as live wells. All three, so you'd have a hundred gallons of bait. In this case, the starboard box is uh, plumbed as a live well and insulated. It also has a bubbler. The center live well has a bubbler and insulated. The starboard or the port compartment is insulated and it has uh, a diaphragm pump hooked up to it. It'll be used as an additional fish box and that will dr that'll pump directly overboard. First boat we've done with a diaphragm pump aft here. Then of course, great access to the bilge, um, is, which is standard on our boats and this bilge is a little busy does have the forward diaphragm pump as well as this diaphragm pump. As we move back to the power plant, old reliable 300 Yamaha, the electronic power steering, Atlas jack plate, and again, as we've mentioned, as opposed to power poles on this boat, he went with the Minn Kota Raptors. Uh, a very complete package, real functional, couple other things. It does have a stereo that's operated through a sonic hub. That's why you didn't see a stereo head on the console. Um, Multifunctional, totally diverse boat that you can fish super skinny water, 13 to 16 inch draft. It's closer to the 13 if you don't have three live wells full. Um, and you can run this boat to the Bahamas. So select your day, but it is the best riding bay boat on the water. Any of the other bay boat manufacturers want to have a day where we go to the dock and we run them out and get people's opinions, we'd love it. This boat is insane. So again, thanks for taking the time to, to stop by and take your time to watch this video. Here we are, Stewart Boatworks, building Isla Mirada Boatworks, 
and building the boat the way you want it to be. Thank you very much.